over 60 years, the Sutton family has been proudly producing vegetables in Queensland's Lockyer Valley. While the modern day Sutton Farms grows high quality tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, lettuce, broccolini and shallots, there has been plenty of change since operations commenced in 1952. As the third generation on the property, Brock Sutton works with his father and two brothers, who have recently evolved again, this time at the management level. Pretty recently actually we've gone through a bit of a responsibility shift. Um, I've sort of taken on more of a, a business and a sales uh, marketing uh, responsibility. My father and uh, my brother Dean have both uh, taken on more of the growing responsibilities, which are probably the most important part of it. Um, and my other brother Trent is uh, managing our uh, marketing stall down at the Rockley Markets, Sutton Fresh Direct. The strategic moves are just part of a continuing push to create and maintain an efficient production system. The challenges in achieving this, Brock explains, are many. So some of the challenges uh, of growing in the Lockyer Valley are keeping that, that soil health uh, available to uh, the plants. Um, firstly, soil health and plant nutrition are number one in our game because if you don't have a healthy soil or a healthy plant, you don't get the yield, you don't get the quality of the product that you want to grow. So in that sense, it's, it's the most important thing. With that comes water management, fertiliser management, uh, green manures, uh, uh, crop rotations, mm -hmm. all those sort of things. The emphasis on healthier plants and soils within the Sutton Farm system has always been important, but never more so than now, according to Brock Sutton. Right, I think with the new generation coming through and the, and the wealth of knowledge that's available to us now and the, the research that's being done on, on plant health and, plant, and soil health, uh, it's really uh, refocused on the greener types of uh, best practices like using your manure, manure crops and uh, your crop rotation and uh, composts and thing, things like that. Amongst the best practices utilised by Sutton Farms is a program to look after soil health by minimising soil compaction on their Lockyer Valley properties. Soil compaction is a big problem uh, with the small croppings and uh, with the development of GPS especially it's uh, helped minimise uh, soil compaction. Uh, also we've taken an approach of uh, extending our implements out to six metres which means that we cover uh, three times as much ground with every pass. The biggest uh, identifier of that is yield and uh, plant health um, with going over the, the ground uh, less often and uh, having less of the compaction there that the plant is healthier and you get better yields. Brock Sutton also explains that the business has a big focus on water management. If done well, this improves efficiencies while also being good for plant growth. Efficient water use is very critical uh, to soil health and plant health. Uh, if you're overwatering or underwatering, it's going to affect both the soil and the plant. Uh, overwatering can create an anaerobic environment in the soil, which is very detrimental to both the soil and the plant. To combat that, we're using uh, water logging diaries uh, and looking into new technologies that will affect the uh, water usage. When considering all techniques put in place by Sutton Farms to improve soil and water health, including soil testing, green manuring, rotations and minimising soil compaction, Brock believes they are making a difference on the property. Most definitely, I think there's uh, drastic improvements that have been made in soil health, not only by us, but uh, industry-wide. Um, the best practices are always evolving and uh, the new technologies that are available to us have helped uh, the whole industry improve on our soil and plant health. There's too much to know for any, any one farmer to know. It also, uh, especially myself, I'm definitely still learning and I use uh, peak industry bodies like Growcom and through their uh, Hort360 uh, programs has been quite helpful for us. Um, also the, the new research that's coming out, um, it's really for me, it's integral to uh, take advice from other people on what we can do better for our soil health.